hello guys how are we doing today welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video i want to believe you're doing good i want to believe you're doing great in this video we're going to be doing an analysis of euro usd and what to expect from the market this week if you're just coming across our videos you're just coming across our channel i want to say welcome it's good to have you what you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos so let's get straight into the business of this video euro usd has been on a downtrend for quite a long period of time you can see it here um looking at the monthly time frame i think it's about a year about the year it has been consistently selling to where it is right now then two weeks ago two weeks ago we had um euro us get to this point where um one euro was higher than one dollar and the the last time we got to this state was 20 years ago that was in um 2002 so we've we got to that that point again two weeks ago and right now um we can see that it has risen again so one dollar is 1.02 euros so let's let's begin our analysis here on the monthly time frame now on the monthly time frame we can see like i said euro usd has been selling consistently and looking at the rsi we can see that <clears throat> we've gotten to the oversold region you can see that we've gotten to the oversold region and we've said this over and over again each time the market gets to the oversold region you should start looking out for buying opportunities and that's exactly what we started doing then on the weekly time frame you can see here two weeks ago the market sold down to this point this is what i was saying where um one dollar was less than one euro and it's got to this point you can see it here then it the market ended as a hanging man that's two weeks ago then last week we could see the market end as a bullish candle making this point or this place a bullish engulfing bar which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern so here the market showed bullish rejection then last week we had the market make a bullish move and of course on the weekly time frame we're still on the or we're still at the oversold region we're still at the oversold region so um like i said we start looking out for buying opportunities then on the daily time frame we got to the oversold region here then um the market started buying and we had the 10 day simple moving average crossover the candlestick here which is a bullish entry trigger then here the market ended as a doji on friday the market ended as a doji and of course the last four candlesticks in last week that's on the daily time frame closed above the 10 day simple moving average which is <clears throat> which is a sign that the bulls are in the market then on the four hours time frame we can see the four hours time frame um the we can see that the bullish move has started we had a healthy bullish candle here then the market pulled back a bit i think this happened on was it friday well we had other thoughts of friday when we had unemployment claims and um we had the markets close on the four hours time frame as a hanging man now and this was a bullish candle then the tender simple moving average cross over the candlestick here again now closing above the tender simple moving average making makes us know that we are in a bullish session that's the bulls are in the market or the bulls are in control of the market right now so what do we expect from the market this week that's what this video is about now considering the fact that only daily time frame we can see bullish reversal here then the 10 day simple moving average crossing over the candlestick 
and uh, the market had gotten to the oversold region here then on the weekly time frame we had the market close as a bullish engulfing bar having gotten to the oversold region so we are looking out for buying opportunities or we're expecting the market to go bullish this week that's what we're expecting from the market this week We expect the buy to get to this point. Um, that's about 200 pips from where the market is currently at. And by then, we hope it's going to come in contact with the 10-day simple moving average on the weekly time frame. Now, we can see that that's the next resistance region. Yeah, that's the next resistance region. So, when it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame, we're going to observe the market to see what's going to happen. If there's buying pressure enough to push the market above um, the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame, then we know that um, the bulls are at the strong buy momentum and we know that it's going to push it beyond that. Of course, we're expecting this bullish move to go far, but for this week, this is how far we're expecting it to get to. Then we're going to observe the market. If it's when it comes in contact with the 10 day simple moving average on the weekly time frame, if it breaks and closes above, we know that the bullish move is in session. But if it pulls back and closes below, there is a possibility for the market to sell again, then make a double bottom on the weekly time frame. So either of these two can happen. So if it close above the 10 day simple moving average, then the monthly time frame are going to have the market and either as a pin bar or as a, a dragonfly dodgy. So either ways, we are still going to be looking at the market. But what we can say right now is that the bulls are in the market and we expect the market to go bullish. So we're going to trade what the market is presenting to us and not what we think it should be. So that's what we're expecting from the market this week. If you have a different opinion, you can use the comment section. If you have any question, you can also use the comment section. I'll be glad to have a conversation with you. Then if you want to register for a complete forex training where we give beginners to advanced classes, ebooks, and lifetime mentorship, then you can check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can register for a complete forex training. And if you want to subscribe for a signal service, we will give proper entry, stop loss, and take profit. Also, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for our signal service. If you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without CS, check the des description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get a soft copy. If you want a hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us your location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.